Hi, my name is Ines Kempfer and I work with the Center for Child Rights and CSR. We work with them, and I must admit, it's mainly foreign companies producing and manufacturing in China. Um, but the child rights and business principles, I think one of the reasons why they work well and are actually a, a, a great tool to take up those topics with companies is because they have on one a very broad way to look at an issue. Um, so they don't look at an issue from a compliance or a legal perspective only. So it's not just you should not do that and you shouldn't do that. But it is like let's think about how our business influences children and how we could change our business so that this influence and this impact is positive. So I do think um, one of the reasons why the, these principles are so helpful is because it starts off from a very um, holistic view of the rights of the child and the needs of a child and not from a compliance perspective. So we're going away from something that is more like a threat to companies and kind of like, oh, now I have to deal with that on top of all the quality issues I have and the price issues, now I have to even deal with child labor, where it's becoming like, oh yeah, I can actually profile myself as a company, both in the production country and in the consumer country, as, as a company who cares for children. And it's not something that um, companies in thousands like jump on. But we do see, I mean, often because maybe the companies do experience some challenges, be it with child labor, be it with young workers or juvenile workers in, in the factory. So they see some challenges and they come to think about those topics. And we then do see that, like bringing them to looking at the um, challenge from a different angle is a very good way, for, even for the companies, to deal with that. I mean, it can be a little frustrating, obviously, and we have stories right, where, where comp uh, factories make a lot of progress, and part of the progress is that they're not the cheapest factories, and then brands not being interested to continue working with them. I do feel that the sense amongst most um, Western or international companies is that they still can get it all, meaning to get the low price, and to get conditions and working conditions in their supply chain that are acceptable. And so it's, it's probably the race to the cheapest price uh, um, is, is not ended and, and that kind of logic has not changed. And so what we're trying to do is really working within that logic, trying to make a business case and find ways to create good conditions while not destroying the business relationship between that brand and, and the company. It, it's still from, for I would say, the great majority, with a few exceptions, the great majority, the, the business case is still the much more the important argument than and probably working conditions.